Auto Geek Show Car Garage here in sunny Stewart, Florida. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and I want to welcome a very special guest, Bob Eichelberg, the president of Flex North America. Welcome to Auto Geek Show Car Garage. Hey, Mike. Thanks for having me today. Hey, I hear you've got a brand new rotary buffer that you'd like to showcase. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Mike, I'd love to. This is hot off the press. This is our new Flex PE14-2 rotary polisher. And this is the first time we're showing it today. Can I see it? Absolutely. Well, that's light. How much does this weigh? Mike, that weighs just 5.5 pounds. Yeah, it's pretty apparent as soon as you hold it. <laughs> but don't let that size fool you. This has the power of any super strength buffer on the market today. So even though it's a compact size, it's got the power of a full size rotary buffer. Absolutely. It's got the standard industrial 5 8 coarse thread. Yep. I noticed it's got a nice contoured ergonomic design, both in fit and finish. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that's a problem with rotary buffers, especially this one here, I noticed it goes down to 600 RPM. You don't get the airflow and have a tendency to overheat. Have you over overcome that issue? Mike, we have. In this particular unit, this unit runs from 600 to 2100 RPM. And as you can see here, look at the size of these vents, allowing that airflow to go through the fan, through the motor, cool it and exhaust out the back end. This is the secret on how, along with the internal mechanisms, how we've made this professional buffer a cooling buffer while it's working. Wow, that is a great idea. Now, I've also noticed something I really like is the trigger, the trigger lock, and the variable speed dial indicator are all in one convenient place where you can grab them with your finger or your thumb. Well, Mike, they're in such a place as you mentioned. When you're grabbing onto this tool, it feels ergonomically comfortable. All the controls are at the back end of the unit, whether it's, like you said, the, the push-on switch start, the lock mechanism, or the dial-in for the different speeds to get from your 600 to 2100 RPM. And you know, while we're talking about buttons, Mike, look at where we put the lock mechanism on this unit right on the top of the unit where you're not going to accidentally hit it. As you mentioned earlier, you like to hold on to the front sure. end of that. I like to, a lot of times I'll take the handle off my tools and I'll put my hand right here for just maximum control. And when they put the button up here, you can accidentally push on it and you'll hear that lock actually get into the gears and start grinding. That's not a sound you want to hear. You will. Even though we have hardened steel gears in this unit, you definitely don't want to lock that on. So that's why we put that in such a place where you're not going to hit it. Okay, then of course you can put the handle on either side. Either side. Your preference. And what size pad do you recommend with a tool like this? Mike, we recommend up to a 7 inch pad while using this tool. But as we all know, people are going to push that to an 8 inch, which, sure. which should work fine. Okay. Well, tell you what, I've got a 7 inch foam buffing pad, a light polisher. Let's give it a test drive. Let's give it a try, Mike. Okay. Mike, that really looks good in your hands. Hey, you know, already I can tell I love this tool. Look how light it is. I'm not even straining, and my arm is fully extended. So tell you what, let me put my cord over the shoulder. That's good technique. Hand me that polish. Well, Mike, let's not let's not forget too. Only five and a half pounds. Oh, that's right. But very powerful. This is a professional polisher. Just because the weight isn't there doesn't mean it's not professional. Let's give it a try. Give it a try, Mike. So I'm going to lay down a little strip of product here. And this is a technique called picking up your bead at 10 and 10. Looks like this. Let's see, that's the three things. That's 1,200 RPM. It's not even that look noisy. Okay, the first thing I notice is when I push down on this, the motor does not bog down. Okay, that's important to me. It's real balanced, and it's incredibly easy to control. And very quiet. Very, very quiet. How I like often that. can you talk over a buffer while you use it? <laughs> Almost one? never. In mm -hmm. fact, you can never have the radio on in the background if you're buffing out a car because you can never hear the radio. Mm -hmm. I like the fit and finish. In fact, it's almost like the Mercedes-Benz of rotary buffers. Well, you know, you talk about Mercedes-Benz, it's um, a German product. This product is manufactured in a town called Steinheim, which is just on the other side of Stuttgart in Germany by German engineer and German manufacturing. Yeah, well, you can definitely feel when you're holding onto it and running it. Now, I noticed that it's got kind of a rubberized forward grip here and a little shelf here and the indent there where my fingers can go. Well, you caught us. That's a little place for you to hold on to to, again, add to the comfort and ease of polishing. Oh, well, I like that. And uh, while my product's still wet, I'm going to bump this down to the one setting, which is 600 RPM, and try it without the handle. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Look at this. 
Yeah. And you know, Mike, unlike a lot of polishers, this unit is designed to operate in the slow RPM. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing. That is nice. And uh, we teach a class uh, here on how to wet sand, cut, and buff, which involves using a rotary buffer. And what I teach people is that learning to master the rotary buffer is first learning to control it. And the compact size, ease of use, this is going to be a very easy polisher for even a new person, new to using a rotary buffer, to learn how to master. Where can people get one of these? Mike, people can get this new PE14-2 rotary buffer from Flex at autogeek.net. Hey, thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Well, for more information, visit autogeek.net. And don't forget to swing by our fun and friendly discussion forum, where you'll find me posting new how-to articles and answering questions. We'll see you again on the next edition of Auto Geek Show Car Garage. Tell you what, I want to just buff a little bit more here and test this out just a little bit longer. Okay, go after it, Mike. I like it.